Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America online, thisweekinamerica.us. How will a local artist from Arizona react when faced with the complications of murder and intrigue during her art com- uh, commissions? Well, find out how Kiro Logan solves one mystery after another with Joan Andrews' series of gripping tales, the Kira Logan Mysteries, Homicide in Bronze, Painted Death, and Portrait of Deceit. Joan Andrew is a long and outstanding active member of the creative world. Art has been a lifelong pursuit. She started drawing at a young age. Joan has created numerous bronze sculptures, ceramic sculptures, weavings, watercolor paintings, as well as oil paintings that are mesmerizing and award-winning. While living in Washington, D.C., she served as CNN's courtroom sketch artist. She presently lives a wonderful, fulfilling life in Sedona, Arizona. Joan Andrew, author of the Kira Logan Mysteries, our guest on This Week in America. Hi, Joan. Welcome to the program. Great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. What an impressive background. And we'll be talking specifically about the Kira Logan Mysteries. And uh, people just love these, receiving rave reviews. But I mentioned all of the art in your background. Why did you start writing? Well, I I had essential tremor, and it only gets worse as time goes by. So it got to the point where I had to hold the paintbrush with two hands, and that didn't work. So I thought, I've always liked words, and I've always read mysteries. So I decided to put the two together, and that's how I began writing. You know, it's interesting because in reading, I would think this was one of the the first skills that you had. You are really so good at it. You're very comfortable writing and telling stories, aren't you? Yes, I enjoy them very much. Uh, I can go into my background and find the places for the problems. And then I've, I've looked around as I've worked and I found all kinds of problem areas that people could get in trouble with. <laughs> Especially well, at the Foundry. Well, yeah, and we'll talk about that during the course of the conversation on the three books, Homicide in Bronze, Painted Death, and Portrait of Deceit. You'll find all the information, the books available at Amazon at jcandrew.com. You can link on to uh, Joan's website by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. You really created this this character, Kira Logan, that really resonates well in the Kira Logan Mysteries. Talk about when you started writing, once you made that decision to write, how did you come up? What was the inspiration for doing mystery stories told through the eyes of of Kira Logan? Well, I think Kira Logan is probably partly me, but I wanted to use a different name, certainly. (laughs) So uh, I just went into my background, and uh, my first book was Port Pain to Death, and I'd been up in... uh, Alaska, helping a, another lady in her art store. And Alaska is such an interesting place. There must have been places to put bodies. So I hunted for places to put bodies, and then I uh, just went on from there. <laughs> that, that's interesting. I, I love how with it, we'll tell similar stories. You'll tell similar stories for all of the books that it reflects is sort of what you've seen, you've ob- observed during your life, and that's the, the the main story in Painted Death. And this really came out of your love of Alaska. This is an area that you really enjoyed, didn't you? Oh yes, it's it's all alive with animals and uh, the people. I you know you think of people living in Alaska as having boring lives, but they're not boring in the slightest. Uh, I took helicopter rides. I I worked at a, a water museum or whatever you call it telling people to only t- touch the animals the two fingers i mean it's just a very fascinating place and then i i went to the the trash dump one time and i said i need a place to put bodies Do you have <laughs> a place here and he said he looked at me and he said no i don't <laughs> And followed home by the uh, a local detective from the uh, police department there wondering. <laughs> I just had a lot of doubts about me. <laughs> With us on the program is Joan Andrew, author of the Kira Logan Mysteries, talking specifically about the, the first book, which is Painted Death, the others in the series Portrait of Deceit and Homicide in Bronze. In this first book, you've got a, an officer there, and, and you mentioned that this sort of... Uh, reflects a situation that happened in Sedona. So you're sort of combining what the, the, the background of Alaska with, with 
present-day Sedona. Well, I had a friend that was having legal problems, and the police were very unkind to her. So I thought, why should the policeman be in Alaska be so nice? And so I just used him instead. You know, and you talk about some of the experiences in Alaska that uh, what you talk about the the glaciers, spawning fish, moose, bears. I mean, there's so much of that, which makes it, uh, it gives us a whole new element as we're reading the book, Painted Death. Before we talk about all the others, let's go back just for a second with the, with Kira. Talk about creating that character and and who she is as a person, because she's like the, uh, the key through all of these stories that you've written. Uh, talk about Kira. Well, I can't say that she solves all the mysteries, but she's there when the mysteries are solved, and she reacts to them. Uh, I myself don't go out and solve mysteries, so writing about Kira, I just tried to make her sort of a person that took the story along. And uh, she's a person that's been teaching art and had a lot of experience and a lot of different experiences. Uh, most artists seem to stick with one medium, and I've been in all kinds of them, and that's why my books have the variety, because Kira can do anything. Well, yes, again, reflecting who you are, as I was mentioning, all of your credentials as as we started the program, basically any art form and and Joan has participated in that, and we see that in Kira as well. The first book is Painted Death. Again, the books are available at Amazon.com, JCAndrew.com, Joan Andrew, the author. Let's go on to uh, to Homicide in Bronze. This is interesting, and you touched on the foundry uh, a few minutes ago. Talk about the role of the foundry in this book. Well, the foundry is a very mechanical place, and it has a lot of big equipment that... Uh, when people wander in and see what they're doing, you know, they think it's an amazing place, and I did too. They're equipped to pick up heavy heavy uh, sculptures, and it takes a lot of people to make one piece of sculpture. It's not as though you paint it and one person paints it and they're done. A sculpture takes a whole village, as they say. And uh, so the the foundry that I described in the book is sort of like a foundry up here in uh, Prescott, but I've, I've worked in several foundries and it's, it's, it's a fascinating place. Yeah, with the equipment and everything there and you do a nice job of painting that picture. Uh, talk about living in New Mexico. We talked about the influence of Alaska. You lived for what, several years in, in New Mexico as well. About five years. And that's when I began my sculpture. Uh, that's why I began working in clay. Uh, it was the most impressive place I've ever lived. And I was inspired to paint. And uh, I just sort of really grew as an artist while I was in, in Taos. And I, I loved the place. But it was windy and dry. And finally, after five years, I said, I'm leaving. <laughs> You've got all your notes you need for a, for a book. You didn't realize you were going to do a book at the time, but you've got everything you need. You're out of there and, uh, and relocated uh, somewhere else. This is one of the books that uh, you have Kira as a protagonist. Talk about her in that role. Well, she's there to, to do two large sculptures of doctors that founded the hospital there. And so this is the story of her trying to do the sculptures and of other people trying to break into the foundry and destroy her work because they thought that they had been badly treated by the family of the doctors. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, and you said that uh, you could relate to that. You put all this work into a sculpture and have somebody come try to destroy this. So. Once again, the sensibilities that we read about in the book, uh, about Homicide in Bronze, really comes from, from your experiences. It's easy to, to damage a sculpture until it's turned into bronze. Uh, it's, it's done in a fairly soft clay, and people can come in and one day her tools are stolen, but several times the, the sculpture itself is damaged, and she can fix it fairly fast but it's just more work 
and it's, it seems like a senseless destruction. And anybody that's ever built something or been proud of what they've done would understand Kira's frustration uh, with having people come in and just for no reason that she knows of destroy her work. That's discussed in, in book two. These are the Kira Logan Mysteries. Book one, we talked about Painted Death. The book we're talking about now is Homicide in Bronze. That leads us to, to book number three. This goes back to your love of painting. This is Portrait of Deceit. Talk about the, the background of, uh, of this book. Well, I've, I've never done really official portraits, but I have done a lot of portraits. And when I worked for CNN, I drew thousands of faces uh, because I was often at the Senate. And they wanted five or six drawings a day. So I did a lot of faces. Uh, so Portrait of Deceit is really, it's more about a woman that's abused and what, how she feels about it and what, she, what her choices are. And finally, what she does about it. Uh, it's, well, it's an important story that you're telling within a story. And does this go back to New Mexico? Where you, I believe you were a volunteer at uh, a Battered Women uh, Project there? Yeah, they call it Battered Women's Project. I think they've changed the name now. But I would go with the women to the, the legal places or, or help them find a place to stay for the night. And their situations are so awful. And, and I did some research on for this book, and I, I tried to put a lot of what I learned into the book, but I felt so sorry for the lady, and she, her choices were very lim limited, and it turned out her daughter was being abused too, which makes it even harder for, yep, yes. for mothers. Is there a, a subtext or basic idea in each of your books, sort of uh, a, a common thread type of theme? Well, the first one, Pain to Death, was to do with drugs because the lady I was staying with said that drugs are such a problem all throughout Alaska. And I had never thought of drugs as being a problem up there. I guess drugs only work, but they're all over the place. And there was problems of how they get into the uh, towns and how they, how they get spread. And she said, you know, a lot of the mothers don't even know what the kids are up to. But I guess the drugs are a real problem. In Homicide and Bronze, it was a lady thinking that she'd been badly treated by the family. She, she said that one of the founding doctors had impregnated her great-grandmother, I think. And so she was trying to get back and get revenge for that. And then a portrait of deceit was, of course, about abused women. And I, having been active with that in New Mexico, I felt very strongly about it. With us on the program is Joan Andrew. She is the author of the Kira Logan Mysteries, Homicide in Bronze, Painted Death, Portrait of Deceit. They're available, of course, at Amazon. Information, and you can order by going to Joan's website, jcandrew.com, all of that information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Are you working on any more in the, the Kira Logan series? Yes, I have one more going. It's, it's the last critique, and she's at a, a workshop. She's a teacher at a workshop, and of course she does a critique after every day when they're out painting to help the people understand you know, what they can do or things they can do differently. And of course, somebody dies there. And <laughs> yes, I, I never thought I'd be writing books about people being killed, but I've read so many that <laughs> I write a book without somebody dying. That will be out. When do you think that'll be out? How close are you to, to publishing that? Probably next year. Okay. I hope this year, but things are coming up that make it next year. Well, we'll look forward to that. The first three in the series are out. How has this experience been? You mentioned sort of shifting into writing out of, out of necessity. What has the writing process been like for you? And compare it to some of the other 
disciplines, the, the, the arts that, that you've been involved in? Well, I like doing art. Uh, it was a way of sort of holding on to the world for me, I think. Uh, I see things that I, I think are beautiful or that mean something to me, and I, and I painted it. Uh, when I could no longer do that, I still dream about taking art classes. Uh, I really miss it. Uh, but I, I found that I, I enjoyed writing. Uh, I liked the words. One thing I'd always wanted was an dictionary that I never got. Somehow where words come from and how they're used has fascinated me. So writing has just been a natural change for me. And I'm still writing in the art world. So what more could I draw? <laughs> That's right. You've got the best of all the worlds out there. And it is interesting. You will hear a word, and I go through this, and I wonder, where did that come from? And who decided that word was proper? You hear somebody else use a word that's not really accepted, and you wonder, why is that not accepted? Irregardless, who said that you can't do that? Where all of these rules come from? So it's fascinating what you can do and you can't do with words. A couple minutes left in the program. The writing process... It takes discipline and you've learned discipline in everything that you've done. Do you do like an extensive outline and then go back and follow that outline in writing the book or does it sort of evolve as, as you're going through the process? It's a combination of both. Uh, I know where Kira is going to be working and I know what's going to happen, but getting her there is a challenge and uh, I will go by and I'll put, you know, chapter one, chapter two, and and usually I write down after I've written it what happened, so I, I see that there's a progression. But this, this new book of mine is, I've got some uh, other people, the secondary characters, and they need to say more, and they're, they're not coming alive for me yet, so I still have to work on that. Interesting, just let it set for a little bit and then, uh, then go back and work on it. When you were doing a sculpture, when you're doing a painting, and again, I'll use that, that same basic question. Do you know pretty much where you're going to go and it just sort of, I have this visualized, I'm going to now now create that art? Or do you get involved in it and go, you know, I, I need to change this and this color really isn't working like I thought it was going to. Is there a lot of flexibility to what you do? It depends on the painting, uh, like the one behind me. It just yes. sort of grew. I, I didn't think about it too much. Uh, I sort of know the shapes I want, and after that, I just throw the paint at it until it works. <laughs> until you have something that's, if it's pleasing to you, it's going to be pleasing to everybody else. And if you see the YouTube version of this, you'll see exactly what Joan is talking about, some of the artwork that, that's in the background. Joan Andrews, our guest, talking about the Kira Logan Mysteries, three now available, Homicide in Bronze, Painted Death, and Portrait of Deceit, a final one, probably out sometime next year. All the information on the book, of course, the books at Amazon. You'll find it at Joan's website, jcandrew.com. Good information there as well. You can only count, of course, directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Joan, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Look forward to the, the fourth in the series, and uh, hopefully we can chat on the, uh, on the book when it comes out at that time. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Thank you very much. It's been great having Joan Andrew with us, the author of the Kira Logan Mysteries, Homicide in Bronze, Painted Death, Portrait of Deceit, information at Amazon, and of course, Joan's website, jcandrew.com. Link on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Back on today's program, after these messages. <laughs> 